this is my breakfast for today, guys. It's just a two egg omelet. I know it looks massive on camera, but it's just two eggs with tons and tons of cheese. And a hash brown and bacon. Let's chow down. Hi guys, and welcome to my 36 week post-op RNY gastric bypass update. My surgery took place on March the 2nd, 2018 at the Guelph General Hospital here in Ontario, Canada. My surgeon's name was Dr. Natasha Pereira Hong. My highest weight was 392 pounds. My surgery weight was 317 pounds. And my current weight, you'll have to wait to find out later on in this video. All right, well, again, it was another lazy week this week. Didn't really do much. Um, we had our first snowfall, I believe it was on Friday morning. Was it Friday? Yeah, I think it was Friday. Um, so that was different. I'm not quite ready for the snow yet. I haven't been getting much, like out much as it is, so I don't know. I hope it doesn't like hold me back from getting out more you know like I, I don't know what to expect it just puts you in a blah mood sometimes having to get all bundled up and whatnot and I'm having my breakfast well lunch actually but it's breakfast food I call it breakfast even if I'm eating it for dinner <laughs> but it's just a two egg omelet hash brown and bacon again yeah the bacon was gonna go bad soon so I figure I'm gonna cook all of it up and just keep it in the fridge and then I could just heat it up as needed rather than just keeping it um, in the fridge uncooked. So yeah, look at this hash brown, yum. Mmm. I love hash browns. They're a nice treat as well. No English muffin this time since I'm having potato. <laughs> it's either, either or. <laughs> Um, what else? Oh yeah, this upcoming Saturday is supposed to be the Santa Claus Parade, so maybe I'll actually have some footage for you guys next week. I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully I can get out to that. They literally, the whole parade comes right out front of our house, so I can, I can even watch it right from my front door if I want to, but I think we're supposed to go uptown. It depends, I don't know. Like if my daughter's working, cause we were supposed to go together. Um, but if she's working, then I'll probably just watch it from the front house. Otherwise we'll probably go uptown and watch it like closer to daylight. Cause it, it takes about a couple hours, I believe. So um, uptown is light out. And by the time it gets down to my house, it's dark. So, it depends on how you want to see it. Also, I might be cutting this video a little bit short because I'm expecting a guest. Company is coming over today. You want to know who? My eldest son. I haven't seen him since he... he I've only seen him once since he moved out. Because he lives all the way in Brampton now and I don't drive so I don't see him and he works so much. But he said he's supposed to stop by so... I'm really looking forward to that. I wish you wouldn't mind being on camera, but I'm not going to push the issue. Again, this is going to be our time to catch up with one another. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to that. Oh my gosh, I miss him so much. <sighs> also, they finally... Oh, hang on. Yep, he's here. Sorry about that guys. As I was saying, my son was coming over and he did and he spent a few hours here so it was really really nice to catch up with him. No, I didn't film any of it but we had a really really nice time together. It's been too long. He said he'll come by probably sometime before Christmas so that really made my day. I'm so happy right now. It was so nice. I still never finished my meal. I put it away in the microwave to eat later because I didn't want to just eat in front of him and, you know. Oh my gosh. He looks so good. So, so good. I miss him so much. 
He's such a good man. Such a good, good man. And I had some stuff here that he left behind that I gave to him. So that was nice. He was able to pick some of it up that he forgot he even had. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm so proud of him. So proud. He's my constant reminder that I wasn't a complete failure after all. I did do something right. <laughs> yeah. I love him so much. Um, what else? Not sure if I mentioned this, but on Wednesday, they came and took our old car. Farewell, Ford Focus. Farewell. Here she goes. Bye-bye. Gone forever. Um, the one that my husband got in an accident with. So, yeah, they finally took it. It's been sitting out in the driveway for the past month. And the landlord was getting angry at us about it because you're not supposed to have un, you know, plated and broken down vehicles on the property. And they kept threatening us that they were going to tow it if, you know, we don't do something about it. So they finally came and took it on Wednesday. Hallelujah. We have our parking spot back. <laughs> Um, on Thursday, we had our annual inspection. They do an inspection of the units to, you know, see if there's any repairs that need being done. So they did that and surprisingly, we passed. They said the house is satisfactory, not in good condition, but not in bad condition. It's just satisfactory, which makes a lot of sense considering we've been here for 22 years. So that's a long time to be here. But yeah, we've been here that long. Um, since my youngest son was one years old and my daughter, she was born, you know, we brought her home here. This was her first home and her only home. So there's that. Anyways, let's just get into my weigh-in for this week. As you can see, I lost yet again. Don't count on that for next week. I thought it would be this week, but next week, it's gotta happen next week, right? Because my period's due. It's actually overdue. I'm usually in sync with my daughter, but um, she started hers and I didn't start mine yet. So I, I don't know when it's coming. But anyways, I am down 1.8 pounds this week. And that's a total of 101.8 pounds down since my actual surgery. And 176.8 pounds total lost. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, I still have a goal to be under 200 I probably won't make it by Christmas. I don't know. Can I lose 15 pounds by Christmas in a month? A month and a bit? I don't know, honestly. I'm not sure. That's probably a bit too much to ask. Maybe we'll try for New Year. Maybe by New Year I'll be down under 100 or uh, under 200. Let's hope. That's my ultimate goal. Let's start the new year in Wonderland. Or maybe Christmas Wonderland. <laughs> It has a nice ring to it actually, but we'll see. If I make it, I make it. If I don't, I don't. It is what it is. I'm not gonna stress about it, but it would be nice if I could make it. Um, what else? I guess we'll get into my belly shot. Oh, this is all soggy now because it's been sitting. It was so crispy too. <laughs> That's okay. It was worth it. Seeing my baby boy, it was so worth it. This is her birthday. Two fifteen point two pounds. So here is my body shot from 
the front. Any difference? Probably not. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I showed my back this time because I haven't really seen my back up to this point. I've never documented that for some reason. I don't know why. I should have probably done that from the beginning too. But Oh, you're going to come beg now, are you Bella? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm <laughs> But anyways, that's where we're at for this week, folks. I don't really have much more to share with you. Again, it's been a slow, boring week. Um, maybe next week I'll have some more footage. Maybe the Santa Claus parade. I don't know if we even go. We'll see. But I am just taking it day by day week by week and as Gigi says minute by minute <laughs> I hope you're all having a wonderful week and I will talk to you next time <laughs> bye for now guys Bye.